And now, dear viewers, let's move on to our first interview segment for today. The Federation of Engineering Offices and Consultant Houses, the KFEOCH, and the North Expo are organizing the EGOV9 in cooperation with the Central Agency for Information Technology, KATE, and the government agencies as well as private sector companies and also institutions concerned with the development of the e-government e program and the development plan in Kuwait. The EGOV9, whose slogan states that e-government is a pillar of the comprehensive development renaissance aimed to trigger a comprehensive development renaissance in Kuwait, where technology in general and e-government programs in particular represent the pillar of uh, this uh, renaissance to know more your viewers about this beautiful topic let's welcome together dr anwar al harbi he is an it consultant central agency for information technology kate so hello and good morning dr anwar good morning to you and to your viewers well finally i'm so honored to meet you actually me also to be here with you it's really an interesting uh, topic, uh, Dr. Anwar. We are talking here about the e-government, uh, which is uh, transferring actually uh, the government uh, services into uh, digital platforms that made our life uh, much easier than before. So we are talk we will talk about that uh, in our interview, Doctor. But let's talk first about uh, uh, the uh, the e-government forum that been organized from five uh, from nine years actually. Let's talk more about that, Doctor. Uh, thank you very much for giving me this chance. Uh, first of all and also this is the ninth event uh, of this uh, e-forum e-government forum which represents the biggest event in Kuwait that uh, gather all the IT guys government and the private sectors and the personnel also who are interested in the development of this uh, event and to transfer of from the normal work to the digital world yes. and this is in between so there are a lot of uh, updates there are a lot of modernizations mm -hmm. hardware software also procedures also legislations are needed for this so this event uh, brings those uh, top of the mark or the benchmark of the market to be gathered in yes. one place mm -hmm. to communicate with each other and then see what is the best way to go forward uh, from the recommendations this uh, conference will announce uh, very soon. That's interesting. And, Doctor, I can see some brochures here. Yes. Is it related to the forum, isn't it? Yes. Uh, this is the brochure, which means there are the speakers, I mean, very well-known speakers from the uh -huh. government. And, of course, this was the, under the auspices of the, uh, the uh, Minister of uh, His Excellency, the Minister Mazen al uh, and yes. then this is, of course, the Minister of Commerce and Industry and Minister of State of for oh, Communications and amazing. Information Technology Affairs. Can I take a look? Yes, sir. please. This is very important. You can mm -hmm. have a look. This is a brochure, dear viewers. Yes. For the forum. Yes, mm -hmm. and it was uh, very fully packed, three days, and then mm -hmm. these are many people. Uh, there, were, there were many people uh, uh, participating in this event. Uh -huh. As I said, uh, these, these people are very much focused on the development. Oh, there is a participant. Uh, yeah, there, there are some. We'd like to know uh, their role, actually, doctor. You see, if I was uh, really very pleased to see, I was uh, the chairperson there, then the chairing the meeting, the moderator, and then the participants from the government bodies were almost 350 people. Wow. And they, they were very much interested and to participate. The fact they came is very good sign that there is some good, good tendency and the government to yes. participate in such events, to learn, to educate themselves, how, how the best approaches to in their institutions, mm -hmm. in their uh, organizations, and their bodies, so that they can know how to move forward for to meet the requirements of, especially after COVID-19, yes. everything went online. Exactly. And mm -hmm. this, of course, needed a lot of expertise a lot of education also. Now people are happy to be online rather than going to the, do their services uh, themselves. Exactly, Dr. They can yeah. do this in Sahel application, the mobile application, mm -hmm. which is a really big achievement in Kuwait. Yeah. Since it is being launched six months ago, 
that was a big achievement that many people using Sahel now exactly. to do their services, to do their jobs. We're going to talk about Sahel application later yeah. on, uh, doctors, uh, Sahel as its name, easy. Yeah. Yeah. But now let's talk about, uh, uh, doctor, uh, the, how can we make a proper, actually, e-government e e uh, status? What are the pillars for that? You see, this is very important to know that there are a few pillars. First of all, mm -hmm. you, you need the uh, technology itself the information technology environment yes. uh, this is uh, one thing the people the, you have to have the people who are well uh, aware of how to handle this technology uh -huh. and to move forward with it and of course there are procedures you need good procedures to have to be in a place in such order as the such as you need to be for example dealing with each other in emails inside the organization mm -hmm. you don't do with paper no more papers. There has to be a decision, a decree, a decision, whatever you might call it, or from the top of the organization yes. that never use those papers. Yeah. And this is a tendency from the government, you see, to go to the paperless offices. So this is an aim. This mm -hmm. is an aim, a very big objective we have to put that we don't use. So there has to be a, a replacement for this procedure yes. to be uh, online, connected, for example, with the Outlook, Mm -hmm. So let us say, or another email uh, uh, software. So this is one thing of doing the procedures. I yes. mean, okay, for example, you need to approve the electronic signature. Also, this is very important. Nowadays, you need to un be part of the, to complete the picture. If you go online, you need to have somebody doing approving uh, legislation, as a matter of fact. Yes to approve the, the electronic signature. So when we speak about the procedures or processes, then we mean this, okay? Mm -hmm. And then we talked about the um, uh, human factor, we talk about the uh, technology, uh, procedures. Also, you need to have some legislations. Uh -huh. You see, there are some a few things need to be changed or updated. So there are few. So uh, by tick on the keyboard, yes, you can because do that. normally when you the paper or the document is approved, when you touch it, you see it, and then you save it, yes. which is a big thing, you see. Mm -hmm. But now you don't do this. You can receive the message from the email, and then you comment on this by email also. Is this legally uh, approved or not? This is another issue. Yes. So we need some legislations to support such uh, changes and modifications so that it can be binding. This could be binding mm -hmm. a process between the two parties, the three parties, or whoever might be exactly. related to this event. That made our life uh, much uh, easier. Doctor, as much as said about the papers now, yes, yes. especially now the new generation, we used to do anything, everything actually uh, online. Yes. And you mentioned that you can replace that uh, by like online, by like signature and doing our services. Buying uh, everything now. Yes. There are all businesses online. People on Instagram, they go, there is online. They don't have everything changed to online there is a, like a virtual storage they mm -hmm. have the services and this is of course we support this of course with the framework it should mm -hmm. be and these are the new changes we have to take care of even the paying actually payment online payment. this is very important mm -hmm. of course be careful about payment if it is from outside kuwait uh -huh. and there are because then it might be a little bit difficult to reclaim mm -hmm. if this parcel didn't arrive and then this could be a little bit of a oh, problem. Thank you, maybe. doctor, for pointing that. Yeah. So, doctor, let's talk about, about the e-government here in uh, Kuwait, uh, the rates, mm. like comparing to other worldwide. Well, we are happy. I mean, we are in the range of uh, some 50, perhaps, uh, up and down. Uh, the, our mm -hmm. uh, position in the, uh, the, uh, the worldwide, uh, the, this is the course the of course the union of telecommunications uh -huh. uh, they have the standards they have uh, uh, like indicators yes. on how the government about how much internet is in the penetration how many people using this uh, internet or how many people having mobiles mm -hmm. so there are some factors there are some uh, criteria uh, to measure against uh, this index this index is very important that we are in the top of it because we have good uh, wealth in Kuwait, mm -hmm. which means that everybody has on his own mobile or iPad or whatever it is. Yes. And then there is internet everywhere in the house. Everybody, in, every person in the house now is connected. Exactly. As you said in, the, in your one comment, that even the kids nowadays, 
know how to use the password, the pin code. Every two years, kid, mm -hmm. you know. They can mm -hmm. buy some games. As they well. buy games <laughs> and they go, give me your mobile, give me your iPad, and they go. They buy online. Exactly. Uh, everything. Three years old. He Three years old. Yes, uh, this is some, This is a change of society, and we have to take care of this mm -hmm. because there are some hackers, some people who might do misuse. Yes. These uh, kids' usage of the internet. Exactly. Say. So, Doctor, now let's talk about another aspect, which is the digital transformation. Yes. We'd like to know more about digital transformation, actually, Doctor. Digital transformation, uh, we are in Kate, for example, have this is a high priority, and the government has it as a high priority. This is a strategic uh, decision to go on, and uh, very important that everybody knows about it. And, of course, I think this program is part of educating Mm -hmm. people how to what we mean by the digital uh, transformation yes. now we want to use the artificial intelligence for example in this digital transformation yes. this is very important nowadays we catch up with the new trends and technology emerging technology as a matter of fact uh, internet of things big data blockchain you name it you see mm -hmm. these are new trends of course we use what we need it is just not a notion that we want to use it we need as we need it the, the amount of the size of technology we need it so that we don't overexpend the chair on this you see we do this this is a very important thing yes but digital transformation means we are uh, going towards the smart government mm -hmm. which means there are a lot of things we have to do a lot of training education training also media there is also there is a message continuous message to the people yes. of course the management and hierarchy in the management need to understand the importance of this uh, mission and vision of the uh, transformation yes. so that they can accommodate themselves, their people, their organization to be part of this digital transformation. Well, that means they get, have to get or to be involved in the workshops, mm -hmm. training courses themselves and their people and their employees. Uh -huh. Because this is it's a, it is a process. It is not a, bus, a press of button. Then we are in the digital uh, transformation yes, exactly. era. It has to be, of course, continuous mm -hmm. and gradual, yes. so that people can be convinced. So, what about uh, the training? You mentioned about training. Does really uh, can training can affect uh, the digital transformation, doctor? Uh, in Kate, we have a, a e-learning portal. Mm -hmm. educational portal this is very important mm -hmm. where people have been trained some 4,000 people employees mm -hmm. and e-government were trained on uh, all aspects of information technologies speciali specializations yes. such as the networking such as the software of production for example office and others are artificial intelligence uh, big data networking uh, just recently we uh, organized the uh, with the Dell that for kids, for girls, how to do projects on AI, the artificial intelligence. This is very much important for society to educate people right mm -hmm. from the early ages so that they understand what this technology is all about so that they can gain this knowledge, get in love with this technology exactly. so that they use it properly. Mm -hmm. We want to emphasize on this also that we want to use a proper technology for because you see there is everything, there is a side effect to it. Mm -hmm. People might use it, there are b bad ads come and when the kids use it, they might be affected, of yes. course. So we always advise people to be aware, to monitor, to educate themselves, mm -hmm. so that well, their family will be on the safe side. Yes, we'll speak about that, uh, doctor, and this is a question. Is it really e-government really secure to you, to be used, especially for uh, children? Well, it is not only e-government aspect. It is on the personal level, as a matter of fact, and family-wise, and uh, society in general. Maybe is the person's at, awareness. Yeah, well. the awareness is very important. Mm -hmm. For example, how safe? This is very important. If I may ask you a question now, we are on air now. Uh, do you know if your mobile has been hacked or not? Is being be spied by other people? Or not? You never know. Yes. Because you are not a specialized, you see. And if you, somebody asks, is your iPad has been hacked mm -hmm. or being uh, penetrated by other people? Nobody knows because exactly. it is part of this game that people get into your devices or our devices mm -hmm. so that nobody notices. So we, of course, there are uh, precautionary measures need to be taken when we do this for the e-government because this is on a higher level. Now we are an organization and we always should expect people to attack 
those websites, those uh, information, yes. to, to steal this information because information is power, as you know. So people try to uh, do bullying for some organizations by bringing down their websites and sometimes they're asking for ransom, like, and then this is, you can see this is electronic warfare sometimes also going between states. Yes. So there are some, of course, we, precautionary uh, security measures mm -hmm. need to be, we have to be cautious about it and conscious also that we don't get uh, all think that the, whole, the world is very nice and safe. Exactly. The e-government is all mm -hmm. be part of it, or the cyber world is very safe and nice as we can think of it. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. It is dangerous for those people. Some people might be on this Instagram. They say themsel they see themselves, their pictures is there and then comments which they never said it. We should be cautioned actually, yeah. doctor, as you mentioned, and we have to be uh, aware of uh, using our devices. As you mentioned, the training is very important, yes, uh, especially uh, from the young age to know uh, what they are using, what they are entering, especially the bad apps. Yes, the Minister of Education has mm -hmm. a role in this. Or my Minister of Information has a role in this. Of course, in Kate, we have a big role and, uh, and we are doing it. Yes. Yeah. That's really great, and I had really pleasure to interview uh, Dr. Anwar, and thank you for a generous information about uh, e-government. Thank you very much for interviewing me. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much. Thanks. Big thanks to our uh, guest uh, today, Anwar, Dr. Anwar uh, El Harbi. We are trying to provide the best education for our children. Of course, there are lots of activities that all schools adopted for more imp improvement. The programs in schools or kind garden aim to improve high, high actually education in schools. And moreover, uh, the introduction about the improvements about the education that include the institutional and also running, also the running water and a hand washing station to create as large a support base as possible. Teachers, uh, teachers also reply and also uh, their uh, parents are trained in hand washing waste processing and food hygiene. So it's really an interesting report how to protect uh, our uh, children actually from bacteria, how to teach them how to wash uh, their hands. So let's take a look at this report.